Hello, good evening, everybody. Mm. How are you today? Hello, Adrián. Good evening, Miss. Hello, Lorena. Hello, Hello. Carla. Hello, Jonathan. It's good to have you here tonight, my dear participant. Hello, everyone. We are going to continue. Hello, Lorena. We are going to continue tonight with the section number uh, three, right? Because remember that this week we need to finish the section number three and the midterm exam. Okay? Esta semana vamos a terminar la sección tres, ¿verdad? Y eh, vamos a continuar con el examen de medio periodo, the midterm exam uh, by uh, tomorrow. That's going to be tomorrow. We are going to look for the information that you may need in order to, fin to, to do the exam. Okay, so let me go to platform. Okay, in the platform for today, we are going to study it says that by the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when saying, oops, excuse me, this is not yours. Yes, compound nouns, right? Compound nouns, that's it. Okay, and then you have uh, the pronunciation of compound nouns there, right? Nombres compuestos o sustantivos compuestos, ¿verdad? Eh, recuerden que un noun es un sustantivo en español, right? Uh, in a noun can be a person, a, a place, or thing. Un sustantivo o nombre puede ser una persona, una cosa, o un lugar. Okay? So let me advance. And here we have also the 3.5 lesson objective that says, by the end of this class, you will learn prepositions of place in order to give directions. We started to study the prepositions. But now, uh, in this part, we are going to use them to give directions. And then, we are going to practice some conversations that illustrate how do we use them, okay, in real life settings. So that's, that, that's what we are going to do tonight. And in order to work on this of giving direction and asking for direction, you will have this 3.6 um, video. So I recommend you to go and to watch it several times until you get the meanings and the right pronunciation. And later we will go to the knowledge check. For this knowledge check, I invite you to open this window and you can download the audio in order that you can listen again and again until you have the right answer for these questions. Where are they going? to the Love's department store, to the bank, or to Maria's yes. restaurant, okay? Uh, where are they going? And the, the question repeats and repeats and repeats, right? Uh, and the possible uh, answers changes. For example, in the next one is Love's department store, Davis drugstore, Maria's restaurant. Number three says Love's department store, the bank, Maria's restaurant. Uh -huh. And the number four, love department store, favorite shoes, or Maria restaurant. Okay, so that's the knowledge check for this section. And for tomorrow, uh, and then we are going to cover this 3.8. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and give directions. And then you have a conversation that says, is it far from here? So that's a question that we have when we're asking for a direction. Es una pregunta que nos hacemos, ¿verdad? Cuando pedimos una dirección, ¿está lejos de aquí? Is it far from here? ¿Está lejos de acá? La dirección, far, lejos, near, cerca. Okay, uh, here, the knowledge check 3.10. Uh, in this case, you have to open the pop-up window and download the audio if you want to listen to. And in here, it's similar to what we were asking last night, okay? Where can the woman get stamps? At the drugstore, at the movie theater, or at the bank? So you have to listen in order to, to double check the right answer. What do they need? They need drinks, they need fruit salad, or sandwiches. Where is the gas station? This word gas station is in the American English, but in the British English, they say petrol station. En el inglés americano, ellos dicen gas station, pero en el inglés británico también usted lo puede encontrar como petrol, 
petrol station. Petrol station. Okay? Yes. How can the woman get to a restroom? Eh, vea que también esta palabra restroom es el baño, ¿verdad? El restroom es in, a pub, in public places. Because in your house is bathroom, right? And in your house is bathroom because you have a shower, ¿verdad? El de la casa se llama eh, bathroom, el cuarto de baño, porque tenemos una ducha, ¿verdad? We have a shower. Uh -huh. eh, y en el, en el public place, en el lugar público, solo se dice restroom, que ah, sabemos que solo es el lugar donde está el no sanitario, ¿verdad? O también se puede decir toilets. Ok, uh, for tomorrow we are going to continue with the reading uh, skills, uh, develop reading skills. So I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to show you the presentation that I have for you tonight. Welcome Roberto and welcome Claudia. I'm very glad to have you here. Okay, let's start. Uh, let's talk about compound nouns, okay? Um, I know that there's a lot of um, information. So whenever you don't have clear something, you raise your hand and tell me, teacher, I don't get the idea. Can you explain again? Or can you say it in Spanish if it's a little bit difficult? Voy a decir esto en español. Cada día nos vamos metiendo más, ¿verdad? Temas más complejos. Entonces puede ser que en un tema eh, no quede claro lo que explico. Entonces usted puede decirme que te repita. O incluso que le diga en español, ¿verdad? Hay, si hay algo que puntualmente no queda claro, por ejemplo, en estas definiciones bien grandes, ¿verdad? For sure, about that, I want to tell you something. Yes. I like to receive some information about new words, or maybe some places in the web in, in which I can search and listening or make a review about vocabulary because there are some words that I don't understand and I don't know how to use it. Yes, so that's a good can... A very good technique. Thank you for sharing. Excellent. Muy buena técnica. Okay, I'm going to mute you, Karenita. I'm going to mute you just in order to uh, read the definition and explain, okay? And later you can unmute yourself. Okay, a compound noun, it's made of two or, or more, let's see, okay. A compound noun is made up of two or more words used together as a single noun. The parts of a compound noun may be written as one word, separated word or a hyphenated word. One word like basketball, phone maker, drugstore, or separate words like fire drill, change reaction, North American, or hyphenated word like, words like self-control, cross-reference, or fundraiser. I will read it in Spanish in order that all of us can be clear on this. Un nombre compuesto está, eh, está compuesto o eh, conformado, digamos, para no repetir, de dos o más palabras utilizadas juntas como un solo sustantivo o nombre. Las partes de un nombre compuesto pueden estar escritas como una sola palabra o palabras separadas o palabras separadas con guión, ¿verdad? Eso es el hyphenated word, una palabra separada con guión medio. Examples of one word, ejemplos de, una, eh, de eh, nombres compuestos con una sola palabra, basketball, que se compone de basket y bow, pero va unido. Phone maker, va unido phone plus maker, uno solo. Drugstore es drug plus store, pero va uno solo. Separated words, palabra separada, fire drill, change, reaction, North America. And hyphenated words, palabras separadas con yo medio, self-control, cross-reference, fundraiser. This is very important because this is part of the uh, English grammar, so you need to realize or make sure that you're writing correctly these compound nouns. Algo que es bien importante de los nombres compuestos es que usted debe saber cuándo va escrito como una sola palabra, cuándo va separado y cuándo eh, llevan un guión, ¿verdad? Entonces esto como eh, tenemos que indagar, ¿verdad? En un, en un dictionary, en a dictionary, and because it's very difficult to memorize, but once you start practicing, you, you learn them by heart. 
tenemos que buscarlas en el diccionario y poco a poco irlas adoptando, ¿verdad? A nuestro eh, vocabulario y sobre todo estar seguros de cómo se escribe. So just let me advance. Okay, here I have another example. Compound noun is a noun which is made, of, made up of two, word, two or more words. For example, here, haircut. Hair plus cut. Rain, look. This is united, joined word, and rain, forest, is separated. Ice cream is separated too. Football is united. Aircraft is joined, it's only one word. Bathroom, only one word. Self-esteem, hyphenated. Eggplant, united. Armchair, united. Software, it's united. And fireman, okay? So here, we have, for example, sea plus food. We have seafood. And again, we have with spaces, without spaces, and when, with hyphens, okay? Ice cream, swimming pool, bus stop, living room. If you see here, they have a space between the two words. They are like separated words, but only one noun. In here, without spaces, is the united or joined uh, words. Classmate, greenhouse, grasshopper, lifespan. With hyphens, the hyphen is this. Guión medio es un hyphen, right? Mother-in-law, dry cleaning, self-confidence, merry-go-round. Look here, we have three. Merry-go-round. Oh, wow, three. Okay. How a compound noun is formed, okay? Remember that these are parts of speech. Cuando ustedes entren un poco más al grammar, en inglés se van a dar cuenta que estas se llaman parts of speech. They are nouns, adjectives, verb, preposition, adjectives, and, and so on, in conjunction sometimes, okay. But in this case, talking about uh, a, how a compound noun is conformed or formed, we say that we can have compound nouns formed by noun plus noun. Just let me use my spotlight. Noun plus noun, for example. Uh, here I have noun plus noun, bed, room. Bed is a noun, cama, room is another noun. Uh, cuarto o habitación, ¿verdad? Bedroom, dormitorio. It's only one word. Uh, join, joining two nouns. Adjective plus noun. Blackboard. If you see, we are using the adjective black. All the colors are adjectives, and black is an adjective. And board is a noun, blackboard. If you see here, it's separated. Verb plus noun equals to swimming pool. Verb, swimming, and noun, pool, separated. Preposition plus noun equals to underworld. Underworld, under a preposition, world a noun. It and it's uh, with without space. It's a joint uh, united uh, world. I mean word. Noun plus verb equals to haircut. Noun, hair, and verb cut. Haircut is a joint word. Um, noun plus preposition. Love in, love in, okay? Love is a noun and in is a preposition and it's hyphen, right, with a hyphen. Adjective plus verb, public speaking. Adjective is public and the verb speaking, okay? And the last one, but not less important, is preposition plus verb. Preposition in, verb put. Input, okay? It's only one word. It's united or not separated. Okay, so again, you can have different parts of speech uh, to conform the nouns, right? Uh, podemos tener diferentes uh, partes, ¿verdad? De la, de la gramática uh, para formar los nombres compuestos. Sustantivo más sustantivo, adjetivo más sustantivo, verbo más sustantivo, preposición más sustantivo. Sustantivo más verbo, 
sustantivo más preposición, adjetivo más verbo y preposición más verbo. ¿Ok? Let me advance. And I'm going to give you here more examples for you to add to your vocabulary of compa common compound nouns. Anymore. Airline. Airport. Aircraft. Armchair. Boyfriend. Battlefield. Background. Come back. Carpet. Cowboy. Cupboard. Chopstick. Classmate. Daredevil. Dishwasher. Friendship. Gentleman. Goldfish. Grandfather. Grandmother. Grasshopper. Greenhouse. Handcuffs. Lifespan. Moonlight. Myself. Notebook. Newspapers. Nobody. One set. Outside. Seafood. Seashore. Skateboard. Skycrapper. Sunrise. Snowboard. Southeast. Starlight. All of them compound nouns. Okay, now um, I have some example. I'm going to the airport to take the aircraft of Avianca Airline. That's an example. I'm using airport, aircraft, airline. <laughs> Three, okay? Now is your turn. Match the words to form compound nouns and elaborate one sentence with each one. Use the previous list provided. Okay, I don't expect that you can write all the sentences, but at least one sentence per person, okay? And here I have um, the parts. You, the, the first part of the exercise is that you join the left side with the right side and that you can conform the words. Once you have the words joined, that you can write at least one sentence uh, uh, which it, with each, since uh, you're gonna work in groups, maybe you can write at least one or two per person, okay? For example, we have arm, grass, motor, fish, fire, rain, breathe, sun, egg, boat, man, chair, plant, belt, tank, glasses, helper, case. Some of them I already gave you. Algunas de estas ya se las di yo antes, ¿verdad? En las listas. Eggs, olive, green, apple, piggy, orange, weather, coffee, traffic, tree, bank, forecast, juice, tree, station, lights, paper, rates. Okay, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Please take a picture. Primero tomémosle una imagen, ¿verdad? A las dos hojitas. Eh, yo también lo voy a hacer y se la voy a mandar. La primera tarea es tratar de unir ¿Verdad? Y encontrar por lo menos cinco, ¿verdad? Cinco nombres compuestos de estas dos listas. Y cuando ya los hayan encontrado, escribir una oración, ¿verdad? Utilizando eh, cada uno de esos, de esos nombres compuestos. No tienen que hacer toda la lista, ¿verdad? Porque el tiempo no nos da. Pero la idea de compartirlo es para que vean que hay como muchas opciones. Eh, para poder, de, de compound nouns, de nombres compuestos, ¿verdad? So, I would like to ask if you have questions. Me gustaría saber si tenemos preguntas sobre lo que vamos a hacer. No. Ok. No, Ok, excellent. Thank you. I'm going to stop sharing and then I will send you to the breakout rooms. So we are going to have three, just two groups because we are just a few today. So let's create the rooms. Vamos a hacer tres y tres para que se puedan ayudar entre ustedes. Primero a join, ¿verdad? Los compounds. Y luego que ustedes seleccionen cinco eh, para hacer las sentences. Ok. Please join. Thank you.
John, vea. No me acuerdo cómo es el... el como la sofá. traducción completa. Okay. Ajá, más o menos como sillón Ajá. o algo por el estilo. Vale. Uh -huh. Ok. Eh, motorcycle. Motorcycle. Ajá, motorcycle. Rain, 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 rain. Se va a ver para compuesta de rain. Son los que supuestamente tenemos que hacerlo con los que están en la, uh -huh. en la imagen, ¿verdad? Ah, huh? yes. hello, my dears. Is, uh, the idea is that, it, that you can use both images. La idea es que puedan utilizar palabras de las dos imágenes, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. the, the, the two single sheets have um, have a, uh, the, 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 the pair. Cada una de las hojas ha sido diseñada. Eh, en cada una de las hojas están los pares. El amarillo y el verde se corresponden uh -huh. por cada hoja. Yes. For example, uh, firemen. Yes. Bombero. Sí, bombero, fireman o bombero. Ok. Son glasses. Hola. Yes. Son glasses. Hey, me quedé sin. Hola, ahora. Okay. Hello. Ok, you can continue. You can continue. Hola. Hola, sí, escuchamos. Ok, okay you, you can continue working on joining. You will have uh, like five minutes for this activity. Tenemos cinco minutos para esta actividad. Uh, in order that you can conclude joining and then you uh, create one sentence at least with three and five or five. Ok. Ok, teacher. Ok. Excellent. See you in five Thanks, minutes. Thanks, teacher. Thank you. Welcome. Ok, entonces. Gracias. Teacher, en una sola oración, todas las que encontramos, o diferentes oraciones. Different, only, only three, the most five. Only ah, three, pues, five. Solo van a ser tres oraciones, una cada uno, a lo mucho cinco, si les da el tiempo, ¿verdad? Porque solo son cinco okay. minutos para la ah, okay. Okay. Entonces, me interesa más que unan, así como lo están haciendo ahorita, para que oh, okay. unen esas palabras a su vocabulario. Las oraciones. Teacher. Adelante. How do you say grass hooper or grass shooper or oh, grass shopper? Grass hopper. Hopper. Yes, grass hopper. Adrian. Hopper. Grass hopper. Porque está compuesto de dos palabras. Hopper. Grass and hopper. Grass hopper. Grass hopper. Se, se conserva okay. 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 la pronunciación. Ok. 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 Bye. Later. Adiós. Bye. Entonces.
La otra sería... Bueno, de de Feynman. Eh, Defilement is. ¿Cuál es esa, perdón? Is the in the first, uh, first station. Ah, ok. Defilement. Defilement is. Is in the fire station. Hello, how is it going? ¿Cómo vamos, chicos? Trying to make the sentence. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll give you one more minute. Okay. Le voy a dar un par de minutos más. Okay. See my grammar. See my grammar. Okay. After that, <laughs> estoy dormida. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't Thank worry. you. Try your best. Okay. Excellent. See you in a minute. Fine. Fine. 